Hello friends, this video on menstruation part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now when we talk about so much of, of three dimensional shapes, so area is not enough because when we talk about the surface area, we are only talking about uh, the areas of the surfaces that we see on the outside. But there is a lot more than that. For example, let's think of a glass. So when you look at this glass, is it the only thing that concerns you is the surface area of the glass that means what is the area that is what how much is this surface which is covered by the glass but there is another very important parameter that comes to our mind for example a very simple question that you might ask is how much water can this glass hold so how do we know how much water can the glass hold so that means right now what I am talking about is the space that is there inside the glass. Now the space that is there inside the glass is definitely not its surface area because it has nothing to do with the surfaces outside. So what is it? So this is nothing but the volume we are talking about. Similarly when you think of a box which, which here is in the shape of a cube. So when I keep this box in one corner of the room and I ask you how much space does this box occupy. So am I only talking about the surface area? I am not talking about the area of the surfaces. I am talking about the entire object as a whole. The object has a length, it has a breadth, it's a, it has a height. So overall how much space is this object taking up? Or if you think of a box like this, the tissue box which is in the shape of a cuboid. So when it comes to these kind of questions, so surface area is not the parameter that would be able to give answers to these. So then we talk about things like volume and capacity. Now volume and capacity are very similar terms and logically there is not much difference between them. So literally the term volume is often used to talk about the amount of space that is occupied by an object. For example, the volume of this box or the volume of the glass. That actually means that the amount of space that object occupies, how much space it takes for itself. Whereas when we talk about capacity, it refers to the quantity that a container can hold. For example, if I tell you the capacity of the glass, that means the amount of water that the glass can hold. But when it comes to calculation, so the volume of the glass and the capacity of the glass would almost be the same, right? So generally, uh, volume or uh, capacity they are measured in meter cubes meter cube or centimeter cube this is the unit or it is also measured in units like liters or milliliters so these are the units in which volume and capacities are measured now the next task for us is to calculate the val volume of different three-dimensional shapes like cubes cuboids and cylinders so let's start with a cube. So how do you get an idea about the volume of a cube? So what do you see on the screen? So here you have a small cube. Let's say that each side of the cube is one unit in length. Let's say whether it is one centimeter each side or one meter each side. So you have small cubes each side one centimeter. Let's assume that. Okay. So this is one, 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 one. So everywhere this is one. So as a result, the volume of this cube is also like one centimeter cube. So I will tell you how do we calculate volume. Now let's say that making use of these smaller cubes, we want to make a bigger cube. So what do we do? We place more such cubes together. Like we placed four such cubes together, but we did not get a cube. We got a cuboid. But when we placed eight such cubes together, we got a cube. Like as you see here, this is one cube. This is one more cube. This is the third cube. This is the fourth cube fifth, sixth, seventh and on the back side also you have one that's eight. So you need eight such small cubes to form a bigger cube. Similarly, if you want a still bigger cube. So do you think nine, if you take nine or 10 or 11 cubes, you'll be able to get a cube? No, in those cases, you might be getting cuboids because you, when you want a cube, the height, the width, the length, everything needs to be the same. So the next bigger sized cube you would get only when you have 27 smaller cubes. 
like as you see here so every time you add one more layer you actually need some nine cubes so here if you see there are nine cubes in each layer in this case there are four cubes in each layer and you have two layers and here you have just one cube in one layer right so in this case how many small cubes you have one here you have eight and here you have 27 now if I ask you what is the volume of these cubes now the volume is gradually increasing as the cube gets bigger the cube needs more space for itself and therefore the volume increases so how do we calculate the volume so on what parameters do we calculate the volume so if you see here in this case each side of the cube was one unit in length now when you look at the next bigger one each side length is this is one this is one so one plus one two so each side length is two in this case each side length is three because one plus one plus one now it is not only the length which is changing if you see the height has also changed earlier the height was one but now the height is one plus one that is two in this case the height has further increased from two to three one plus one plus one that is three Similarly, when you talk about the width, it was 1. Now it is 2. And in this case, it is 3. So basically, in, uh, in the first case, the length, breadth and height was 1, 1, 1. Second case, it was 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. And in the third case, it was 3, 3 and 3. So how do we calculate the volume? So the volume is calculated by multiplying all these three dimensions together. That means in the first case, the volume was 1 into 1 into 1. The second case, the volume was 2 into 2 into 2, which is 8. In the third case, the volume occupied was 3 into 3 into 3. That is 27. So therefore, in order to find out the volume of a cube, we say it is equal to L cube, where L is the side length of a cube. So this is how we find out the volume. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.